I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amber. This is Amber's Logic. Got a new video for you today. Milwaukee Buck trades, rumors, and news. Live edition. Before we get into it, you know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. What a disgrace. Before before we get into it, shout out to Salute the Bucks Nation, the, the, best, the best Bucks chat on YouTube. This is also the best Bucks uh, podcast on YouTube. Please hit the like button as you enter the building as we discuss this tragedy that we just watched in the nation's capital of uh, the Washington Wizards versus the Milwaukee Bucks was an atrocity. We look old. We look slow. We look befuddled, bewildered. We look like we had no energy in this game at all. We look like we were literally going through the motions, obviously, outside of Giannis. Giannis never goes through the motions. He's always playing for real. But beside, and, and Middleton had a solid game, too, besides the turnovers. But that's part of what comes with Middleton. It, it's just, I was trying to tell y'all last podcast, the Bucks don't care about losing the weak teams because they know that they won't see them again. The Bucks only care about beating quality teams. If you didn't know, just to put things in a better perspective, the Bucks have, I think, the top. it's either top three or top five records in the NBA uh, against uh, top teams. We have one of the best records in the league against top competition. So that lets you know when the when the levels are leveled up, we can level up there. So that's one thing I want Bucks Nation to to hold to hold close to the belt to know that we have that in our back pocket that we play better against better competition and we beat better competition. But against inferior talent, we don't care. I'm not going to even say it's being slow and oh, we just don't care because the same team that we that we call old and slow ran all over the Oklahoma City Thunder. Ran all over the, the uh, Boston Celtics. Ran all over the Knicks. So it's not the old and slow. We got to stop using that excuse. Let's call it what it is, Bucks Nation. Y'all know we keep it real here. They just don't care. They'll, they'll try to win, but if it doesn't work out, it's not like they feel like, oh, my God, we lost. We're not that good. Because they'll turn around and, and, and whoop Denver or somebody like that. And they won't look old and slow. So let's not use that excuse anymore. It's nothing about old or being slow. It's about not, it's about passion and actually caring. Period. That's all it's about. It's caring, passion. And we don't have we don't care, nor do we have passion against good teams or bad teams. You let me know when we've looked lackadaisical against a good team, where we look old and slow against a good team. You can't because it doesn't happen because then we're locked in because now we got something to prove to play for. We The Bucks don't feel like they have anything to play for against the Wizards. Whatever. It's just the Wizards. Who cares? We're in the playoffs guaranteed. We know what we got to do. So before we get into the numbers and all that, please take that in consideration as y'all go off in the chat, which I know y'all will. But just take that in consideration, y'all. We have one of the best records in the NBA against quality competition. Now, the Bucks laid an egg today. Yes, they did. They lost 117-113 to a team that have uh, that has less than 20 wins. On the positive side, Giannis uh, played well, 15-21 from the field. He's back to having problems at the free throw line, 5-9. Yet another triple-double, only two turnovers, plus two, 35 points. Middleton was 9-19, 3-8, 3-4, 9 rebounds, 6 assists. For a turnover, and middle to be making some bonehead turnovers. I mean, just bonehead turnovers and plays sometimes. I, I I just really wish Middleton would just stop trying to facilitate and just focus on scoring. I really do. I don't know why people be putting uh 93 gas in Middleton's playmaking ability when it's really 85 ethanol to keep it real. And Brooke Lopez has been a disappointment for a while now. I don't know what's going on with Brooke. Maybe he's not getting any rest because of the baby or something, I'm not sure. But he looks he looks slower than normal right now. And for a seven-footer to play almost 30 minutes and get two rebounds is unacceptable. It's unacceptable. We need more out of Brooke Lopez. We got to figure out how to get Brooke Lopez going. Brooke Lopez is really struggling out here right now. He is, I mean, 
regardless of what happened this year, we need to move on from Brooke. He has he he doesn't really have too much left in the tank. It's almost a hundred of y'all in here, Bucks Nation. Let's get them likes up. We should have at least seventy likes up in here. It's for the free ninety nine, Bucks Nation. I don't ask for much, just to hit the like button to help other Bucks fans find the best Bucks content on YouTube and to communicate in the best Bucks chat on YouTube. Come on, y'all, hit that like button. And now, now to some of the disappointing play. Pat Beverly only had two points in 22 minutes, but we do have to take that with a grain of salt, seeing that he is playing through an injury. Now, who isn't playing through an injury is Beasley. This was an awful night for Beasley. Two of 13, one of 10, two rebounds, two steals, one turnover, five points, and he he wasn't playing good defense at all. Him and the he was playing weird, and so was Crowder. Like they didn't know how to switch right tonight. It was really weird. Gallo is beyond wash. I'm not even sure why he even got any tick. Uh, Crowder didn't give us anything. Five points. Bobby Portis uh, played decent. Twelve rebounds. Uh, Twelve points. Somehow got three assists and a block. I love Bobby's energy and passion, but Bobby has to work on his basketball IQ, y'all. We have to be real. Bobby has to work on his basketball IQ. He makes some very interesting plays at times. Some low basketball IQ plays. I got to keep it real. But uh, like I said, when he's going, he's going. And we had one of the best games we've seen from Pat in a long time. So shout out to Pat. Four of 11, three of 10, four of four. At least he was aggressive. 15 points, eight rebounds, five assists. He played well. A.J. Green played 14 minutes and had six points. Jay Crowder played 21 minutes and had five points. Beasley played 30 minutes and had five points. Do you guys see that there's something wrong with what I just said? Let me repeat that. A.J. Green played 14 minutes and had six points. Beasley played 30 minutes and five points. Crowder, 21 minutes, five points. I'm a little bit concerned with some of Doc Rivers' decision-making and putting so much effort and time into some of these old players I, I i just don't get it what are you gaining from giving crowder that many or beasley that many minutes when he's not cooking With, between beasley crowder and Connaughton, minutes should be restricted on production pat Connaughton earned his 29 minutes today crowder did not earn 21 minutes beasley for sure didn't earn 30 minutes today I just need to understand some of Doc's, like, why he's uh, doing some of these rotations because they just don't make any sense. And then, look, we shot almost 50 threes. We got to relax on the threes. We're three-point merchants, and we're not even hitting. If you, We shot 22%. 22%, 48 threes, 103 shots. Half of our shots are threes. And we have Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the, the best – uh, paint scorer in the NBA. How are you taking half of your shots or threes? Doc, why aren't you checking that in? People are shooting more threes than twos. That's crazy. We got to get that together. There's nothing wrong with getting two points. What is wrong with scoring two points? People act like that. You should be banned or you're going to get kicked out the NBA if you shoot a mid-range or you take it to the cup. This is ridiculous. 48 threes? Doc, I'm... Doc, what you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? I can help this team for half of your pay, bro. You better pay attention to what you doing, sir. This is your last stand, Doc Rivers. You mess this up, you will be, you will be chilling with your son in retirement. That I assure you. Stop believing in people that already showed you who they are, sir. We know who A.J. Green is, and we want you to show us more of him. He's productive. You give him 10-plus minutes, he's going to get you close to 10 points, period. That's guaranteed. Crowder, Beasley, Connaughton, it's a crapshoot of what they're going to produce. But you know without a shadow of a doubt, if you give A.J. Green minutes, he is going to produce. What are you thinking about, Doc? If you do the you do the same thing over and over again, that's insanity. You're doing stuff that got you fired before. You have to believe in youth at some point, Doc Rivers. 
And then look at, uh, man, Washington some scrubs, but look how many people they got in double figures. One, two, three, four, five, six people in double figures on the Wizards. I don't even know who these people are. The only person I know on their team is, is Poole. He had 16. This Avajija, I don't even know who this is, 23. Uh, Kispert, I don't even I don't know any of these people, but yet they're cooking us. How is that possible? Pride has to kick in, Milwaukee Bucks. Even if it's a team you don't feel is worth your time, use pride should kick in and losing. Like this is insane. All these people I've never heard of Jay Butler, fake uh, uh fake Jimmy Butler, seven to ten, 17 points. They shot 50% from the field. They also shot terrible from three. And then the free throws. We definitely got killed on free throws. We should have had way more free throws, but that's regular stuff, and we can't complain about that. I am disappointed with the effort in this team tonight. Definitely disappointed. When you have when you have championship mentality, you shouldn't have letdowns like this. You just shouldn't have letdowns like this. This is ridiculous. Let me get to some of the comments, y'all. And let me shout out everybody, and then uh, I'll put the link in the chat so y'all can join in and, and, and be heard. Just give me a second. Y'all are really snapping. Jesus. Y'all are going in. Y'all not wrong, though. Y'all not wrong. D Cole, one, two, three. What's good? Sergio, what's good? Max Villain, what's good? My man B Shack, what's good, sir? John Jackson, what, a, what it do, bro? Elms Tanner, what's good? Matt, what's good? Pronte, what it do? TJ, I hope your team lose in the first round. Othello, what's good? AJ, what's good? Hoyt Street E, what's good? Sean Dixon, uh, Veggie Gross, what's good? Eliza, what's good? Rigo, what's good? Robert Brooks, Janet MOC, what's good? Bucks number one, Robert Brooks, Amtrak's, what's good? I see the gang is in here. I see the gang. Mr. Priceless, what's good? I see y'all in here. Let me get to some of these comments. I see the gang in here. Mm-hmm. I know y'all tight, but just understand, y'all, we play better against better competition. That's just what it is. It's not the right thing to say, but it's the truth. If this was a real team, we would have played completely differently. D. Cole said, bro, to the weakest teams in the league. Yeah, we always we lose to the weak teams. But we beat all the good teams. So like I said, let that be the, the silver lining. Let that be the silver lining. You don't see the Bucks getting smoked by good teams. We do the smoking. We pack people up because that's where we care. This is an older team. So with older teams, you got to take that in consideration. They're not going to waste their time at bottom feeders if they don't have to because they don't really care. And especially at this point in the season, they don't really care. Now, if this was some like big team, then they would probably they would probably suit up and play for real. They tried to play just good enough to win, and they lost. They gambled and they lost. That it just happens. But I promise you, we will see a different Bucks team in the playoffs. Mark my words, we will see a different Bucks team in the playoffs. I guarantee it. Watch what I tell y'all. They're like, damn, they don't look old and slow. Like, no, nah, because they care now. Dame is there for the playoffs. All these players on this team are seasoned veterans. All they care about is the playoffs. Regular season awards, regular season records mean nothing if you're not winning the chip. The Bucs are focused on winning the chip. That's why I don't care about seeding. If the Bucs are who we think they are, their seeding shouldn't matter. Their ops shouldn't matter. We should be good no matter where we sit. And I feel confident in this team that we can win on the road or at Pfizer Forum in front of friends and family. This is a championship caliber team. I know that, and they've shown it. And when people say the flashes, yes, it's been flashes, but those flashes have been against quality competition. High-level competition is when you've seen those flashes. So that's the pattern. That's the pattern we need to talk about. How does this team play against quality competition? And they play very well. Almost exceptional in some cases. So please keep it calm, Bucks Nation. Look at the stats. Y'all know I'm going to give it to y'all straight raw. If I was concerned, you would see it. I'm not concerned because I know this is a playoff team. Watch what I tell y'all. Watch what I tell y'all. Max Villa was good. And yo, who else is tired of Doc's four-minute press conference? He prepping us for the playoffs or something. We can't afford to be paying four coaches, man. <laughs> right. I feel you. 
I, I, yeah, that, I, I'm telling you, Max Villain, I said it. He better tighten up. B Shack was good. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm wondering if we pulled the plug too soon on Adrian Griffin. Wow. 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 I didn't think you would ever say something like that, B Shack. Wow. That's crazy. I know where that's coming from, though. Uh, John Jackson was good. Giannis, 33 point uh, triple dub, and still can't win with these useless pieces of trash. There's definitely some people that didn't show up. Definitely some people didn't, didn't show up. I agree. Elms Tanner was good. We're shooting 22% from three. That's why we we're losing. That's all, a reason why we're losing. But the other reason is, is taking 48 threes. That's entirely too many threes. 48? Why are you taking 48 threes? Especially when you're not hitting, you keep shooting. That's the coach. The coach would be like, hey, it's not our night from three. Let's take it to the paint. Like, what are you doing? You got you to gotta start coaching for real, uh, Doc Rivers. Starting to be a little concerned. Sergio 710 was good. Dude, I think it was yesterday. One of the players on the Hawks uh, got all on the coach's face. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Pronte, yes. Salute to Pronte. Was good. Doc has to stop this vet thing. ASAP. ASAP. He need to stop this ASAP. Agreed. Othello Rucker was good. This is unacceptable, to be honest. Wizards, like, seriously, making these Doc allegations seem true. Ooh. I see y'all slow. I see people starting to uh, b spin the block on Doc. Ugh. I, I see it. Sean Dixon was good. I'm starting to think they selling these games. So, so many open shots. I swear Bucks forgot how to play basketball. Laughing out loud. This is unbelievable. Isn't that crazy? You'll see certain games where every every uh, defensive play is awesome, switching perfect, communicating, talking. Against the bottom feeders, we have we we're our IQ goes from a ten to three instantly. No focus, no energy, just lackadaisical, no attention to detail, and that's a big problem with this team is attention to detail. That's what they need to focus on: attention to details. Eliza was good. Literally never matters how our best player plays. Triple, double, and lose to the Wizards. This team is horrendous. I'm convinced of it now. No, no, no. Like I said, Eliza, look at our stats and our and our record against quality comp. I think you'll, I think you'll be uh, pretty shocked. John Jackson said Doc is a worse version of Bud? Wow. Wow. <laughs> they are coming for you, Doc. Blood is in the water. And the Sharks, a.k.a. Bucks Nation, they starting to circle, bro. You better tighten up. They starting to circle. They starting to circle. They starting to circle. You better relax. Janet MOC was good. Poor shooting night. Yeah, it was. It was a poor defensive night, too, and poor execution. It, it, we just didn't play well. B Shack, exactly. It's a perfect storm. Bad defense, bad shooting, terrible combination. Completely agree. Completely agree. Ah, uh, our favorite op is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get to it. Salute to my favorite op. No strays, E and T. I see the playback of the last show. Uh, good thing I still got my Easter shoes on. I can tap dance on the Bucks championship. Ho you see, Bucks, when you do stuff like this against the Wizards, you allow the ops to come in, donate to style on y'all, to take a number two on y'all. Why would y'all want that? No strays is entertained to do this. Why provide him the ammunition? Man, Bucks, man, you let this man come in here and talk crazy for the last week too many times because y'all holding L's against Scrubs. I know what it is, but it doesn't make it right. It just doesn't make it right. <sighs> 
AJ said we have lost a lot uh with both Dame and Giannis. What a lot. We're in the second seed in the in the East. What do you mean by a lot? I I don't I don't get that. How, how have we lost a lot if we're second in the East? And have one of the best records in the NBA. Come on now, man. Some of this stuff is dramatic. Othello Rucker said Gil gonna cook Doc tomorrow. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Juicy said this is pathetic. It's definitely a disappointing performance. I agree. John Jackson, hey, chat, let me know how y'all feel about this. There's a reason why the Lakers ran Beasley out of time. This guy's trash when it matters. Wow. Okay, John Jackson. My boy, Brandon King. Oh, Sergio710, what's good? I knew we weren't going to figure it out in the second half, but it was uh, up to the coaches. Yeah, our coaching got to step up, bro. Our coaching got to step up. Mr. Price is, is co-signing you, Hoyt Street E. Brandon King Carter was good. Bad game. Very bad. It's, it's a, a shameful game, actually. Mr. Price has said low IQ players. Yeah, and the coach looking low IQ a little bit as well. What are we watching? If even one more person chases that play, they've gotten uh, that rebound. We don't do all that. You're, you're talking about hustling all that. Now, Bucks ain't on all that hustling, jumping on the ground and going for loose ball. They're not, they not on that type of time. Juicy, we suck? No, no, no. We're not going to go that far. Bad game. We're not going to say we suck. Come on, bro. Relax. Green Ranger was good. Exactly why our Marjana Ajax should be playing. Bingo. There is more Doc Rivers. I know some of y'all watch this watch this podcast because of everything we talk about, y'all end up doing or talking about in a later presser. So this is what we want. There is more upside in Marjan, Andre Jackson Jr., and AJ Green than there is in Beasley, Crowder, and Connaughton. And that's a fact. That's a fact. You don't have to like it. You just got to respect it. There is far more upside in Bochamp, Andre Jackson Jr., and A.J. Green than our vets. Way more upside. It is just up to Doc to understand that. It's so crazy. How do we see everything watching through TV? Bucks Nation, friends and family, we know exactly what's going on. It's very concerning that a coach that's right there in 8K doesn't see it. That's a little concerning. That makes me wonder about his IQ a little bit, about Doc Rivers' IQ. And now, what's up with these great assistant coaches? Are y'all not in his ear? Like, that's crazy. I, I just don't get it. Juicy said, do we need Dame? Yes, we need Dame to win a championship. Simeon, what's good, bro? Let's be honest. They didn't come to play tonight at all. They didn't come to play at all. Well, hey, Bucks number one, we don't need to trade Beasley. I think we could just let him go. We tried it. It didn't work. Why not just let A.J. Green get them in and stop believing in some of these old cats? It's ridiculous. Trade, Pat, I'm with that. Eliza, we don't struggle with every team. Come on now, Eliza. You the homie. Come on, Eliza. We don't struggle with every team. Othello Rucker said losing to the 14-win Wizards team is crazy. Unfortunately, it's normal behavior for the Bucks when they play bottom feeders. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. AJ said we are too slow. No energy. This team is pathetic. We deserve all the criticism from the media. That was harsh but true. That was harsh but true, AJ. Harsh but true. Pablo, what it do? This team can't compete with any young and athletic team, regardless of record. That's not true. We just competed with OKC, one of the best teams in the league, and we ran them out of Dodge. So no, Pablo, what you want to say is we we're not focused against every team. That is the better statement. I will. I'm gonna just switch that up a little bit. We are not good against bad teams, but we are excellent against great teams. That's a fact. The, the stats are there to prove it. My man, Dre West. Hey, what up, Dre West? 
embarrassing. Yeah, that's it. That sums it up. It's embarrassing and disappointing. Oh, let me put the link in the chat, y'all. Hold on, my bad. I'm tripping. Let me put the link in the chat. Did nobody even say nothing? Ask for the link. There y'all go. Tap in when you're ready. I'm going to keep going through these comments. Damn, we let Hoy Street E come in here talking crazy again. TJ in here. All our main ops in here talking crazy. Damn, Bucks, why y'all let them do this? We would have had a all uh, Bucks friends and family chat if we would have won. Y'all let the ops come in here and style on it. <sighs> Ridiculous. What up, Pass? What up, Nick Loaded? Patricia P, what's good? Patricia P, what's good? Tap y'all in briefly. Patricia P said, Amber, this is not what championship teams do. The same mentality will carry over to the postseason. It's not something that you can just turn on and off, especially during playoff time. I, I'm, I'm trying to be on the positive side, but what you're saying is very valid. What you're saying is very valid. Very valid. All right, there's plenty of people in the green room. Let me start. Uh, let me tap in. Man was in here first. Let me get my man, the Bleacher Report boss, in here. One second. There you go. Green Ranger, huh? <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you good. You good, yeah. bro. You good. There he is. Hey, if y'all don't know Bleacher oh. Report boss here, hey. Tell me how you man. feel, bro. Man, that was a bad loss tonight. Horrible loss. But um, watching that game, I, I like her pronto in my head. Just saying, like, they're being, they're being lazy. That's it. Bucks being so lazy. I don't, you know, it's just been last couple of games. They don't care. They don't care about this game, and they won't care about this game. Exactly. Man, I just the only thing I can say is you can't, you can't blame Damian Lillard for this loss. <laughs> right. You can't. You can't. <laughs> That's so true. Because they all want to blame Damian for it, but you can't blame Damian tonight. So I don't hear nothing about Damian. No, we got to blame the team. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't care tonight. We just got to be honest. Let's not make it. I'm not making excuses. I'm just telling y'all the truth. They don't care against these type of teams. They, if they win, they win. If they lose, they lose. They don't care either way. I'm trying to tell y'all. If this was like a, like a Denver or somebody like that, where they feel that they they need to prove something, they would prove something. No, it's not the right mentality. You're right, Patricia P. But that's the this is the animal we're dealing with, and the stats are there to prove it. Please, anybody, Google our stats against the against the top teams. We're dominant. We're it's the truth. It's just the truth. That's... Go ahead, Daniel. I think was drop that drive was crazy though. Yeah, it just it does drive us crazy, and I get that. But it's just like we just gotta kind of accept this team for what it is, and I guarantee we'll be a much better team in the playoffs. I guarantee it. I'm telling y'all, we'll be a much better team. Let me tap the rest. I hope of so. Man, it just. You, you don't even know what this... <laughs> My man is speechless. He is speechless. All right, let me tap in Pronte real quick here. Yeah, here we go. Pronte. I'm about to tap you in, Pronte. And the CJ was in here too. All right. Let me get them up in here. I know Pronte about to go off. I already know CJ about to style too. All right. <laughs> Why are you on the screen like that, CJ? You look dead serious, bro. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Did y'all not see oh, that, bro? He... That man was looking dead serious right there. He's like, I got some get off my chest, man. I got to get right. some off my chest. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Right. Go ahead, man. What up, Fronte? What up, CJ? Bleacher Report <laughs> boss. What up, y'all? I'm gonna tap the rest of y'all in What's shortly. Up, Let me let these men uh get uh say what they got to say. All right, Fronte, you. Then we gonna go to CJ. Go ahead, Fronte. Man, how many how many corner threes we gonna shoot today? Brick <laughs> and miss and brick and how many corner threes? I don't, how many corner threes did we make? One, two. We like two we didn't make 30. many because we shot forty eight threes and we shot. Let me let me give you the stats. We, but we for corner threes, 
We was like two for 30. It was crazy. That makes sense. We were 22%. So that like makes sense. The they, 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 they pass it to it like all the time. Miss, miss, miss. I mean, I'll say this. The Bucks, the referees, man, the ref, the, the NBA got to do something about the referees. They be cooking games. The referees be cooking games. They, was, they called must have 25. Every play was a foul in the first quarter. It didn't even make sense. It wouldn't even. It, took, they you, the it took the Bucks all out of their rhythm. It took, you showed a replay and it wasn't a foul. you like, dog, how many times y'all going to do it? Giannis had a steal. They called a kickball. It was clean. It was like, what, what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> like, so, but, man, look, it's the end of the year. It's the end of the season. <coughs> I want you, I want you, man. I can only hope you right. But if this wasn't my home team, team I love so much, I will not be batting on the Bucks. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, no, I, I hear you. Just, but all, I, you're not wrong, Pronte. All I'm saying is if you look at the stats, the stats say, that we play better against better competition. I mean, I get I, you're right. I, we've seen it. We've seen it. That's I all said, I'm saying. That's what drives me crazy. I, I, that is you know, the part. We, that's right. You. That's fair. But that's fair. It, we just got some obvious hoes that we know we see, too, that we just hope don't stay right. hoes in the playoffs. We hope some of these things don't stay hoes in the playoffs. Brooke Lopez is a hoe. <laughs> Told these cats Bobby, about Brooke. Bobby Bobby Porter is a black hole. Ball don't ever come out his name. <laughs> hey, you guys, we're not disrespecting Bobby. We uh, love Bobby, like Bobby. P, but, but he, he got low basketball IQ. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Bobby yeah, P got, got low 100, basketball man. IQ. But when he Kobe cooking, ball give him the ball. Time. But if he ain't cooking, do not give him the ball because he is not passing. And Beasley, when he bad, he bad. He oh real bad. Like, he he miss every shot of the game. And, and you got Doc, that's what you got to sit him. You got to sit him at one point. Doc, when he bad, he bad. You got to sit Doc out. You got to sit Doc in the stands for a minute. Like say, Doc, let somebody else coach for a minute, because no reason why BZ should have came back in the game. <laughs> There's no there was no reason. Right, for it. he showed you, you nothing. You already played terrible the whole game, and you bring him back in the last five minutes. For, keep AJ Green in the game. Maybe he can hit a corner three. Oh, he de- he hitting the, he hitting a corner three. Oh, oh, we but we know this, but Doc don't. So <laughs> That's what's concerning. Uh, Does, Doc bad, Does Doc have low basketball IQ? Does Doc have low basketball IQ? You know, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel <laughs> that's like the it. real question. That, that's I mean, we, He was training Adrian Griffin. That that was a bad sign. So, <laughs> you know, that was his mentor. Right, allegedly, got, allegedly. The guy that showed him how to, whatever, you know. Because, <laughs> I mean, that was his mentor, though. That's what they said. That was the dude that was trying, whatever. But, um. You're right, man. The Bucks, the thing that worried me about the Bucks, and it's for the playoffs, don't switch us up top. Got to get cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Those, the switch is, period. Let's not just oh, say man, up top. Man. The switch is, period, needs to be. Period. I mean, if you're going to switch, you can't always be confused. Every get every time. I mean, I just saw like five games against good teams. Five games against a good, good team, and in a clutch that we didn't switch and dudes wide open for O three to ice the game. It's like we can't keep doing. Oh, bro, I'm, I, doing I am tired. It's about the game of the game. Bees, it don't matter who it is. Oh, you know, your guy. It's April. Right, it's April. Right. Not time for that anymore. Get him, Dave. Get him, Dave. My bad. My bad. This, this, this yeah. the bus logo right here. My yeah, bad. Way oh, too man. much logo for the year. <laughs> Regular season. My bad. Like, why don't you just play defense? It ain't your bad. It's your bad. Yeah, we know because you didn't play defense that play. You said no, I ain't gonna hold nobody. He just gonna miss, and he made it. Then you said, my bad. Like, what, what, what do you think? I mean, they disrespect the right, game. Reason why I have have uh, I have uh, a pile of the books. They disrespect basketball this year. Mm. They completely disrespect the basketball this year. They that disrespect the heavy. game this year. And that's why you don't feel good about them going to play. Because they, they have yet to respect the game this April. Mm. They, just, they, they just don't respect. And it's like, oh, we're just going to turn on the playoffs. Hey, hey, Pronte, that yeah, hit home like that with CJ. His whole expression changed. That hit home with my man, CJ. That hit home right there. <laughs> so I'm just saying, they acting like they're the Bulls. And it won- look hard, man. If you watch the Bucks and watch other teams yeah. play, they just make basketball look hard, man. <laughs> and then on top of that, Brook <laughs> Lopez, man, is seven feet tall and has zero rebounds, man. What what are we doing, man? 
You know what, CJ? Like, what I, they, and that, you right, but in Rick Lopez sucks everybody. He's the worst I ever seen. But Rick Lopez had little guys. He he, he had little guys on him, and he refuses to post them up. He refuses to post him up in the no, block. I saw that like five times. Him, I, no, if you one watch one second, Lopez, gentlemen. Our favorite iPad has something to say. Lopez. Bear with me, gentlemen. See, this is the thing. When we lose against teams like this, we give the we give these people light. We give these people no strays. Nt our favorite op. I'm just here to say, uh, my man's with the uh, bunny hats because losing to the Wizards uh, counts as two losses. You lost to who? You lost to last week again. No, no. He, who lost to last? I understand what he's saying, night. but the point is that he has the ability and right to say that right now. He has the complete yeah. right. No strays. That was funny with the funny hats. Yeah, WFSO. You're actually right. This kind of counts as two losses against the Wizards, a team with 14 wins. He's right. He's right. <coughs> well, losing the yeah, losses, yeah. four losses, man. Brooke Lopez, I, mean, I think Brooke Lopez has been the cancer on the team the whole year. Mm. I, I agree, too. I, I, feel, agree. I, feel like, I feel like it's been he's been one of the main cancers on the team. I mean, even with Adrian Griffin, he didn't want to go out, so they had to switch the whole defense. He don't want to post up, so he doesn't try hard on the post up mm. a little bit. And all he wants to do is shoot threes. He wanted – I remember one game he wanted to shoot the – I mean, in Portland, he wanted to shoot the last shot of the game. I mean, <laughs> That it, game. It, oh, I remember that game. I mean, it, oh, Brooke Lopez has been a, when, a, a prima donna this year mm -hmm. to the max. It's time remember for him when to go. Dame I mean, hit the game winning shot? Oh yeah, when he was calling for the ball when Dave hit that game winner. Yeah. yeah, that was insane. Yeah, yeah. That was insane. I feel like Brooke Lopez has been a, a cancer to the team. Just 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 not have up, hot dog in it. Not rebounding. I mean, I, I it's just hard to watch Brooke Lopez play sometimes. When you that big and you also Sounds tapping good. the ball out. How right. many times you gonna tap the ball paid out? Twenty five million, million dollars. I mean he, like, he's he start he he leading fast breaks for the other team tapping the ball out. They getting the ball because they know he ain't gonna grab the ball. <laughs> and they going off to the races. I'm like, Brooke Lopez, all you do is grab the ball. You right. That's it. That's it. It's just it's an offensive rebound. I don't understand why he's tapping it back to who? <coughs> to who? They should be tapping it to you because you right in front of the basket. Thank but, you. You know, Brooke Lopez don't want to do that. He want to step out and shoot threes. He want a euro step from the three point line. He want to do all this other stuff that don't make sense. You know, it, it, you know, it's time. It's time to send them to the Wizards and say, "Man, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna be. We're gonna send you to Wizards. <laughs> right. we're gonna, we're gonna, we just gonna get rid of you because it ain't no reason for us to have him if he don't rebound. If he True. don't want to set screen, if he don't want to post up when the team need him to post he use up, his size. He doesn't want to use he his wanna, size at all. He don't want to. He don't want to use his size when he wants to use his size. That's the that's a perfect example of how the Bucks been playing this year. Brooke Lopez attitude. I don't want to run back on D. I don't think I should have to grab that rebound. Then who is going to grab the rebound? Right. I don't want to who play in the post. Rebound? I want to shoot threes. Like, I don't feel like playing well, against you... the Wizards. So I'm going to do this for the whole game. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, you know, the Bucs been doing this all season, but I'm going to still ride it out. Right. Same. But, surprised if they get put out? No. But do I want them to put out? I don't want them to lose nobody. Right. Fact. So they got to play like they mm -hmm. care. That's it. Shout out like to the Brewers they, today too. They been playing like they don't care day. all year, so mm -hmm. they bet, they act like they the Chicago Bulls and went off of a three-two back-to-back <laughs> championship or something. It's crazy to me how the Bucks are so so like oh, like a day ago. They're not like, serious. Like when when did y'all win a championship last year or something? Am I missing something? Like what 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 about? The what arrogance. It's the arrogance, Pronte. You could just like, say it, it's the arrogance. This team. What do they do to, to feel this way? Like, what do they do to feel right. this way? Y'all have beaten. I haven't won a playoff game. Y'all got swept. Y'all got put out the first round, and y'all come back like this. Like, and it's not even the stars. It's the role players. That's the wildest part about it. It's the role, mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Bro. How you coming back like this, Bro. Chris Middleton? Bro. How you coming back like this? Go ahead, man. Bro. That's crazy. I, I just, yeah. Go ahead, you CJ. Look. Go ahead. It's on you, oh, CJ. CJ. My bad, boy. My bad, my boy. Here you go. Well, I said last stream that I said the person I'm looking at is going to be Doc Rivers. Man, Doc Rivers, man, I don't know what he doing. I don't know if he, 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 he on that, he on that path. You're on that zone or some dude. He's 
if Malik Beasley is not hitting shots and you see AJ Green in like you eight minutes, you degrees, why are you benching him? <laughs> It makes no sense. It's right there in black and white. And then on top of that, and on top of that, we're playing one of the worst teams in the East. Can we please put Ajax or at least a young guy in the rotation? Like something, bro. Like the problem is we're not playing the young guys when we're playing young teams. That is what killing these old old dudes like Brooke Lopez and everything. And on top of that, Ajax and Marjan. They will make an effort trying to get the rebound. We got a seven foot center that's just tapping it, not pu- not putting two hands and oh, at least doing a putback, at least tap it into the back into the basket. Like I, I, I like I don't, I don't understand why he kind to volleyball it. And then also, I don't get it. We I don't know. We just we just got to do something with the rotations. But like I will admit, even though I could go on on Pat Connaughton, he did he did make. It. He made awesome. effort plays that I saw. Uh, correct. Yeah, he played well that. today. So I'll, I'll get because I always begin on him. So I got I got to give him. So credit. far, Pat Conson is the only person that Doc has influenced to play better. True. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Everybody else is playing exactly the same, but Pat Conson is playing better. I give him that. Since Doc came, Pat Conson is the only person that's played better. Everybody else. The same. The Jay, Jay the same. Crowder's I mean, regressed too. We need to talk about Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder oh, literally has a one good game every fifteen. I mean, I just seen this dude try to do a dribble, step back, and shoot a three, bro. You that like when have you uh, done that, bro? I've never seen this man do like, I'm so serious. When has he done that? I like get the rebound. As soon as he did, yeah, I said, get the rebound. Get the rebound. Get the rebound. Get the rebound. Just grab the rebound. This dude ain't making that. What are you doing? This dude trying to do hazy. Appreciate that, brethren. What? Like, Brooke Lopez don't want to post up five, four dudes. It's it's crazy. It it don't even make sense no more. Get out hustled by people that are six feet. Get out hustled for rebounds by undersized guards is crazy. Lopez will let the ball drop in front of him and still wait for somebody to pick it up. They don't want to touch the ball. Unless he's from the three. Like, even even though this team is a championship team, they just play the dumbest basketball. Like at most times, like these dudes just got random, like random CTE moments for some reason. Like <laughs> I just don't get it, bro. Like Brook Lopez has got like every mismatch down low in the paint, and, t- oh, and nobody oh. passes. Like, like, and then on top, and then when they do pass it to him, for some reason, when he catches the ball, he he come from the paint and into the damn free throw line. Like, yeah. You're supposed yeah. to, you, yeah. You're supposed to dive to the basket. I feel like yeah, he doesn't want to play in the post anymore, and he Doc should be forcing post. him in the post. Especially we have the size advantage. Why aren't we just pounding them in the in the paint? I don't think I've seen Brook uh in the paint consistently in any game this year. I don't, I don't think I think it's him. I don't think he wants to be down there. I think he, well, don't, whatever it is, something's wrong with him. And it's time it's time for him to go. Yeah, it's time. It was time this summer. That's what I was telling y'all. And I'm going to keep saying it because y'all was fighting with me about it. Talking about uh, uh, defensive player of the year. I was like, that was a scam to get the money. Now he got the money. He having kids, doing all types of other stuff. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I, I knew the scam no was key. in. I know scammers. I know how to game, Man, bro. No key. He's a scam. I have a hot He's take. He's one of those. Oh, I have a hot take. Oh, go because ahead, back CJ. In, um, back in... Um, uh, I think it was the year 20, uh, 2022 when um, we lost in the uh, second round against the Boston Celtics. But f- when we traded for Serge Ibaka, which I thought was was dumb, I thought yeah, we should have – that was the year I thought we should have go- uh, gone in for Miles Turner. Mm. That, that was – I think that I was could see that. the year we, we went out. Because that was when Brooke Lopez, you know, he was coming off the back sur- like the back surgery, and he didn't even play at all. And plus, we didn't even use him at all. I felt that was probably the time we should have just got rid of him. Because already, before before his injury, he was already slow, not moving out of the paint. And Miles Turner was a young center. And on top of that, he can move laterally around defense. Correct. Just like, if Giannis is paired up with an actual big that can move around, man, we be shutting we be shutting people down. It, it's, it's, the problem is Brooke Lopez just sitting down in the paint, letting dudes shoot. Yeah, the lack of it athleticism, like, the, it, it hurts them because they're so opposite. You have an ultra-athletic power forward and an ultra-slow center. It's, it's, 
that don't want to rebound. That don't want to rebound on top of that. It's two opposite sides of the spectrum. I don't see how it works. I, I just don't see how it works. I'm really interested to see what his playoff rotation is. How long is he going to stick with uh, Crowder and Beasley if they're not playing well? That's going to be interesting. Playoff. I, I'm going I'm to say this real quick. I'd rather have a guy off the street, a hobo, and, I, and I'll give him a, a, a blow in the sandwich. We'll play better than this. That's how bad. Get the fuck out of there. Because that's how you play. Hey, your volume low. Hey, your volume low uh, a little bit. Daniel, your, your volume low. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but it's low. There we go. You hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you, but the volume is low. It's like you're too far away from the mic. All right. You hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had the phone away for you like you had some type of microphone by you, brother. Come on, man. Yeah, Dame on vacation. <laughs> Dame on vacation. You said what? Yeah. Dame on vacation. He took a little week off. No, they said I when mean, he got the split lip that he got a need in the groin too. So he needed some uh that he needed to chill. Need so he wow. needed to chill in Portland, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for a week, man, stop that. Well, I'm hoping this help him get to what he need to do in the playoffs. What he do? He busted a nutsack, huh? <laughs> what you mean, got Dean to grow? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, nuts, what, what could possibly? How could that last that long? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So, That's but he time. should be back. I think the next game, maybe tomorrow, the game after, he should be back. And who do we? Yeah, he, I, we got to. Ah, damn, we play. If we, we lose right against back Memphis and the Wizards, if we lose against Memphis and the Wizards, <laughs> that'll be a bad look. That's I know they bad. won't shame us in front of friends and family, though. They won't do that to us in front of friends and family. No, uh, no, no. They, might. they won't these do These bucks, these bucks, these bucks right here, this bucks, this version, I wouldn't put it above them. Yeah, true, <laughs> they, true. They, this they team is capable of pride. anything. They capable of blowing the number one team in the league by 20 or losing to the worst team in the league. By ten, you just don't really know. Play, if we didn't have talent, we play like a losing team. I agree. You know, if we was a, if we we had, we you would think we had, we was like a bottom feeder team. <coughs> the way we come out and play basketball, sometimes. The only reason why some, I reckon, would be way worse if we didn't have the talent of Giannis and Dane. I agree. Yeah, because it's like our our role players play like they they ain't hungry at all. Like they don't even play hungry. They don't even hustle. How many role players do we have that don't hustle? It's, True. It's, it's beyond me. I have never seen a team with so many role players that refuse to chase down the ball. Like, and that's or on, just that's make on effort, court. like diving for loose that, balls. Oh, that's what, we don't that's what I'm saying. Those passion they don't, they, I, don't, I don't care if you miss shots, but you could get some loose balls. You right. Get the, you get the balls that Brooke Lopez refuses to rebound. You know, you can do those things, you know, but they don't do those things. They just watch. They just don't. They don't get back on D. How can you let the role players get away with that? I don't understand that. And that's yeah, because that's the whole point of a role player. That's the that, whole that, point. That is, that's their role. That's why they call it role players. That's the role they're supposed to play. You know, the stars are supposed to be the stars, put the points up, make the the, the will go. But the role players are supposed to do all the dirty work. You know, they're supposed to be in there mixing it up. The Bucks got role, prima donna role players. They got entitled role players. They Man, they got okay, the most entitled Carl, role let players. Just, let me read this with my boy Carl. What up, Carl? Uh, hold on one second. Let me make sure. Let me just tap this out. Tap this back in. Damn, people got. Carl said, pitiful performance again. This team is not built to win a championship. Getting rid of Holiday and Budenholzer were terrible mistakes. Defense sucks. Wow. You know what, though? I I do appreciate Budenholzer for this. All right. His role Shout players are always. He always maxed out his role players. True. His role players yeah. get in the game. He They wouldn't get in the game if they didn't do certain things. He That's didn't true. play with his role players. He, he didn't held play with people his role accountable. Players. He held people he, accountable. Especially, especially his role players. Like, but now these two coaches we had, they don't hold their role players accountable. They just, they just name drop. You know, oh, oh you that bad. Oh, you he, Beasley. We keep forgetting about the, the 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 championship run. He sat Lopez down that second round. Yeah, a lot. yeah, man. Like, because that's that's what you that's what we do, man. It's a coach that don't give, don't care who your name is. We need we need a coach that don't care who your name is. We got a coach, coaches that's just like you would think Doc would be like that, but 
If you yeah, keep I, don't, I, I thought niggas. I would see a different doc, but I see the same doc that I've always seen. He might you be one of the stubborn the old dudes who's just stuck in his ways no matter what. Yeah, he putting Gallo in the game. Gallo about as old as you. I'm just what saying, you out here, he, his knees about, he walking just like you on the court. And you out here putting yeah, him in the game right for significant minutes. That's crazy to me. Like, Gallo <laughs> should never for significant you, minutes? You, you, <laughs> you sending Dame home for a week, send Gallo home for the rest of the year. That's, he shouldn't be playing at all. Like, they need to, they, if I'm the GM, I'm like, Gallo, just go sit. Go home. Go to Italy. Right. Wherever you're from, stay there for the rest of the year. So Doc won't put you in the game. Just so Doc gonna put you in the game, cause Doc gonna as soon if you close to the team, Doc gonna put you in the game. He don't care if you're eighty years old. That's you a know, fact. cause cause Doc something wrong with Doc, cause Gallo there's no reason why Gallo should be playing. He shouldn't even be on the floor. I'd rather have the Nassis out there. And yes, I'm saying that. I would yes. prefer the Nassis on the floor over Gallo. Period. That's Gallo, the part. Period. period. I'll period. At least we gonna get seven fouls. Right, and at least some hustle. Fouls, he gonna get minutes. some rebounds. He gonna do something. Yeah. Yeah, and he gonna get hyped up. He gonna get everybody hyped up. Gallo was just looking. What, what, what was he doing out there? Gallo looked what like he, he should be playing at the Y with me and my friends. Dude, dude got. And then we got Pat Content running point guard. Right. Like, and Pat came. Oh he could barely dribble through his leg. <laughs> could barely dribble through his leg. <laughs> dude, Pat handles his <laughs> Like, anytime he try to do any type of real move, I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> slow down with the buddy. Relax. Slow down. Slow down slow with down. Wisconsin right, Badger right. basketball. Let me, hey, Badger uh, basketball. CJ, can you see us? Let me let you get your last words in, bro. I'm going to tap in WFSO. Uh, all I'm going to say is I'm going to be fast. But Doc needs to be more accountable. He needs to step up because that game yeah. right there, you can just – if you know Beasley's gonna struggle, sit him down. That's just same thing goes for any other role player. But like, especially with Beasley, if Beasley and Beasley was getting cooked this game, if he's giving you nothing on offense and nothing on defense, you gotta sit him. I know at least Adrian Griffin is gonna sit somebody. You just stare and let things happen. And also, as a coach, be smarter. And, and I know I don't know if it's a coach or a player thing, but you cannot have your guy shoot forty eight threes in a game. Thank I'm you. Sorry, That's man. all I'm, I'm saying. Even if you're uh, um, and you, a three-point era, <laughs> no way in a basketball game you should be shooting 48 threes. Um, just, Not a, no. Especially if you only have 103 shots. So you telling me half your shots is threes? That's insane. Um, and no, you man. missed. It's just done basketball. We show low basketball of IQ a lot. You missed 80% of them. And you shot Bro. Man, all right, T, uh, CJ, I appreciate you, man. If you want to uh, spin the block, feel free to. I'm going to tap in WFSO so we can just move a little stuff around here, bro. Appreciate you, CJ. Do. Salute, salute. I feel like they almost set a record for Miss Three. Mm -hmm. They almost set a record, 80%. They must, almost missed 43 points. <laughs> Why you come on the screen like that, man? <laughs> What's up with y'all today, bro? It was a disappointing game. <laughs> that That's came why. On the screen like the Green Goblin or something like that. Come on, man. What's up with you, bro? <laughs> it was a disappointing <laughs> game. I see y'all in y'all bag today. I see you. All right. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Go ahead, WFSO. Go ahead, bro. It's just mainly what killed us was that third quarter, though. That's what I was like more upset about. And what y'all mentioned earlier about them threes, it was just too much, too much. Try to take it in, do some mid range shots or something. Like, seriously. Oh, no. Nah. Hold on one second, WFSO. Man, this man, he having fun with this. This is, see, this is what the Bucks need to be seeing. Y'all getting shamed out here. Our favorite op, no strays, E and T. What up? Bucks fan be like, on the bright side, the Bucks are forty-seven and zero against game <laughs> in games that they win. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? No strays. That was funny, bro. Hey, my man is a comedian. My man is definitely a comedian. The man said we forty-seven and zero in games we win. It's crazy. That was funny, bro. That was funny. 
<laughs> go ahead, WFSO. I wasn't ready for that one, bro. My apologies, bro. Go ahead. Awesome. <laughs> It's just my point is, it's like they live by the three and they die by the three, and they should at least change that up a little bit. It, just like it do something different. It don't, it don't make sense. It didn't make sense. Like there's I mean, mid-range shots. There's layups. There's things called layups. But people mm-hmm. are driving the way all the way to the hoop and kick it out for a three. All the time. Have all a layup the time. Bro, all the time. Have a layup and pass to a three. Like, and then miss. Like, I don't know. Like I can understand that somebody's open, but no. if you can take it okay, and you got the space, then yeah. I get hey. it, but if your team ain't making threes and you got a layup, why are you passing to a three? <laughs> My man know. Zeke eight two four said Doc loves yeah, the AR, AARP lineups. I feel bad for Giannis. <laughs> you're right though. <laughs> you're right though, bro. You're right. That was funny, but you're you right. Russ Lopez boom in there. AARP lineups is crazy. God, Brooke Lopez. Yeah, that's another story for another day. That's a, that's a story. <laughs> Brooke Lopez is the story of the season. Why yeah. is he here? <laughs> Why? Why is he here? The, true. He don't fit no more. That's, he's the story of the season. You thought it was going to be Dane, but it's really Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez did regress so bad. It's crazy. It it's don't even make sense. We you already knew he could like rebound, okay. but now he's having games with less than five rebounds is very concerning. He not Bucks even Nation, scoring Let's no get more. them likes up, y'all. It's for the free like, 99. Yeah, the... Come on, y'all. We grinding. We should be able to And we have like, points that be less than his average. Yeah, that's Lopez he's just not cool. producing this year. He stole that money. He stole yeah. the money. That's it. <laughs> he stole money. Yeah. I know he got a new baby. You right. He probably ain't getting no sleep. Probably ain't getting no sleep. But what if you, you had get... three kids and you was making 25 million a year? Would you be focused? And you already are you almost 40? How focused would you yeah. be? If you just had yeah, your I mean, first kid, you got okay, millions upon kids. millions. You all oh, your back hurt a little bit, your feet swollen, got a couple bunions. How yeah. hard are you really about to play? That's why I wanted to trade this man while his stock was high. We could have got a lot. We could have got a really good player in return for for Doc Rivers. I said Doc Rivers. I wish we could trade him for uh, Brooke Lopez. Uh, this uh, off season, this past off season, it's yeah. just like that's what I be telling y'all. We need to have the Bill Belichick mentality: sell high. Sell high yeah. a year before a person is washed. Can you imagine if we would have got rid of uh, Brooke Lopez this all season and we would have been able to swing a Miles Turner adding a little sauce to the game, maybe throwing a Pat Connaughton. We could have got a Miles Turner. We could have got a Nas Reed. I would have even been satisfied with a Mo Bamba because of the defense and he could run the floor. Those are things that we yeah. were saying. We were saying, give them, it, give. let's get a bowl bowl in here. He he. We could get him for nine laters and, and life water. All these were chances we could have taken on a big man that at least Life has up. some athleticism. And instead, we're dealing with the first human, Neanderthal, Brooke Lopez. <laughs> but at least he's and, okay with and, blocks, though. Part of his value is still kind of yeah. somewhat up, up there. But, you know but what, in the today's books? NBA, he like a dinosaur yeah. and the meteor is almost about to make contact. Yeah. Yeah. He's a dinosaur. I mean, the meteor is about to make contact. Yeah, yeah. Wipe him I mean, out. Man, His style just, of play is no longer acceptable in the NBA. He just made me think about Rick Lopez with Connaughton running point guard. We in the night. We in the nineteen fifties. We are in the nineteen fifties. Before they started dribbling through their legs. Right. They couldn't even do this. Just the high, they couldn't even the do this. Dribble. They couldn't do, <laughs> they couldn't do a basic crossover. They were just like this. That's kind of did it. <laughs> kind of I'm gonna say this, back. and I'm gonna be dead real with this. And I know what's gonna happen. If this, what y'all gonna say? Even if when we win the championship this year, we still need to make changes. Yeah, I don't want to hear not one person in this chat to you. say run it back. No, don't no, I don't no. want to hear one person no, say no. run it back. This oh, team man. needs a soft reboot. A soft reboot. We got to get rid or a of minor some of these one. geriatric, free soda, Dunkin' Donuts, free coffee players off of this team. Yeah. 
I ain't got no hungry players. Uh, Byron, like, like, we do have hungry yeah. players. That's not true. We don't play them. Andre Jackson Jr. is hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. AJ yeah, Green yeah. is definitely hungry. Yeah. It's just Doc Rivers don't see it because, you know, I, he's a vet. He's been playing in the game 10 years. I know what to expect from him. These young guys, I just don't know, man. They could get in here and do anything. Start fouling, taking unnecessary shots. At least I know yeah, what he's yeah. going to do if you don't get your stupid self up out of here and go in the <laughs> film room and close the door and start taking oh, notes. Yeah. Oh hey, God. we, hey, Bucks Nation is I here to help you, Doc you. Rivers. If you see this, we're here to help you. We can actually help you save yourself. Yeah. Hop on the live, ask what? some questions. We got all the answers you need <laughs> right here. Every after every game, we can tell you exactly what you did wrong. And that of us could be a better coach than you. We want a banner, but we need you to listen to us. We know what's right. We always know what's right. Salute the Bucks Nation. <laughs> and half of us probably can coach better than him. That's bro, the sad man, thing. Hey man, I you know what? If I was a coach, bro, I just had the live uh watching what y'all saying and, and adjusting as what y'all saying. You feel what I'm saying? If I was yeah. a coach, hey, yep. I had a live stream on, there'd be a camera right there on the sideline. I'll be reading the comments and chat and coaching at the same time. For real, for real. Shout out to the chat. <laughs> Shout out That'd to the chat. Guys. But I, I, we better hey, not we, lose I tomorrow, you... though. I'm going to be real. To, that oh, tomorrow may oh, be mad. That'll oh, make me mad. Oh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go to that game. If these tickets don't sell, I'm going to go to the game. <laughs> we might. We might. We might lose, man. No, they about to I... lose in front of me. Mm -mm. Man. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> man, we... <laughs> they look like they right. They look like they don't care, though, boy. They really look like they don't care, though. They boy. don't care. And But you man. know what, though? Let's be honest, y'all. We said this a couple games ago. I think it was like nine or ten games left. Watch. It might have been you, Pronte, say, watch, they ain't going to care no more. Because it don't, no more. the yeah, season ain't going to fluctuate April. that much. It's April. They ain't going to care no more. They it's time for playoffs. No Nobody care about games in April. I don't care what I, any game. Who, who was that can... the said I don't know if it was um uh, Dr. Me. Smith or B. Shaq. Somebody was saying any wins that we get now are, 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 are cherries on top because they don't expect us to win no more because we're not going to play for real. Any wins we get to before the playoffs is just a, 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 a rabbit in a hat. Like, good luck. Otherwise, I Man, expect if they want to play keep, like this. If they want to keep that I, second I be seed, they better play right. They might they not want to keep the second seed. They probably don't care. They, this is the most arrogant team you've ever seen in your life. Right. But, and you see the Knicks season. keep losing. Was that the Knicks the that Knicks lost, lost tonight? No. Uh, yep. My, my yeah, right. Yep. They might be trying to lose to get to the third seed. I don't know what's going on, but it it seems like every time we lose, they lose. So I'm not sure what's going, what what that's all about. I think they might be trying to mess around and get to the third. I'm not 100 percent sure though. The Cleveland play like tonight. The second seed is a very tough road in the East. Second seed is a tough road. Third seed, the third seed gonna be the only easy team is gonna be Indiana, yeah. but. That's the easiest matchup in the, in the low season. Anyway. Right, that ain't no easy matchup, right. Why would you want to play Philly, and why would you want to play Miami? Like, just, That's you know, fair. just something, who, they, who they got. The team that you really probably want to play is Orlando. You they, probably um, would rather play Orlando, Cleveland, and uh, Indiana before you Indiana, play those are Philly. Those the teams that are the opening matchup. Philly and Miami, they experience playoff teams. Right, they, yeah, they, they 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 been there. They gonna be there. They gonna with be better problem. coaching. With better and coaching, they got, so got MVB back. Now Cleveland is solid, but you know they you know they got a player that don't want to be there. True, Bobby Mitchell don't want to be there, so he kind of messing them up right now. I think he kind of tanking their team. That's true. A little bit. So you kind of <laughs> want to play them because of that, because he's trying to get traded. You can just tell. Um, but. Man, it's all to the playoffs. You know, these games, we might lose tomorrow. No, no, you know, I'm we, going to the game. We the ain't losing is, tomorrow. Who, nah. Who's well, going to play game, tomorrow? These tickets who's playing tomorrow? Who playing tomorrow? The Grizzlies. I think who who going to sit out tomorrow on the Bucks? Somebody <laughs> sitting out tomorrow. Why are you doing that, Pronte? Why are you doing that? Gianna, Gianna, who who, who you going to sit out tomorrow? Y'all need some This man said, who's going to sit out? The Grizzlies. You know Middleton's going to sit out tomorrow. Middleton Nobody will sit out. Me. You are correct. But Middleton we is sitting in out. Expecting Middleton. someone to oh, randomly yeah. sit yep. out. That's true. Middleton you can't do back to back. Tomorrow. That's right. Yeah, Middleton will definitely be. Yeah. We might as well just sit out. We might as well just sit the team down. And just let the young guys hope. No, no, no. Y'all yeah. laughing, but I would prefer that. 
But let the stars just, sit and then let the young guys who let's see what they got. Get the stars, make sure they practicing, make sure they building, yeah. they working on their plays, working on their switches, because that's what they need to work on. They need to work on their own chemistry. And then play to everybody in the team at least two times in the league at least twice. They need to work on themselves. They don't have chemistry oh. with each other. They keep messing up on communications and not rebounding and stuff like that. They need to get that together. I, These games don't really mean much anymore. I mean, the Bucks might go down to the third seed. They might go down to the fourth seed. Either way, they're going to play a tough team. No matter what. They're going to have to beat the same team to make it to the championship. It's going to be the same road. So, you know, at the end of the day, get your players healthy. Get them on the same page. Because in Doc, you need to get on the same page. Because this, this is the end of the season. You got to prepare for the playoffs. You know, you got to decide how much you're going to be able to play Brooke in the playoffs. Correct. And that, and that's a, that's a real thing. Because like you said, and we know, that Bud set Bobby a lot in the playoffs. Correct. Bobby Porter said, mm-hmm. like in certain matchups, Bobby Porter's barely played. Barely played. Uh, Rick Lopez set you in some have- matches too. That's true. So it's like, I mean, but we but- don't. So they're going to have to figure out their rotations because you can't be bringing Gallo in the game. Yeah, he should. Gotta- him entering the game Cause, like, cause we is, don't know. Is, is, a, is a tragedy. We don't know how the refs are gonna call the game. You see how they almost ju- they juiced us against the Wizards. What are they gonna do against Boston, New York? You know what I mean? Like Philly. They're gonna be calling all type of calls. Right. For NBA. So it's like why we we gotta get our rotation straight because there's gonna be some foul trouble, especially the way Middleton be hacking. So yeah. you know who was that that said Middleton play defense? Middleton don't play no defense. Middleton be Middleton, reaching. He reached he That's reached too it. much. He like reaching. That. Reaching, getting stupid fouls. Like, what you follow him at the end when he, when he was about to miss? Then you want to reach in and hit and follow. Like, but Milton following, make sure he don't get hurt for the next two games. Because Milton been breaking. His three point shot ain't on. Yeah, so but Milton his other his get... mid his mid range is on though. The mid range, oh, no three point. Yeah, the mid range he's hooping in the mid range. I'm gonna give him that. And I think I'm with you. I'm thinking that Doc needs to understand when Beasley ain't cooking. You gotta bring in AJ Green. You gotta do that's saying that's that's a non negotiable. Right. You can't keep doing Beasley the whole game. I don't care if Dane back or not. It don't matter. Cause you need somebody that's gonna hit that shot and not gonna just get in their head and miss fifty shots. Cause that's what Beasley would Damn, do. Fifty threes almost. I still that still makes me so angry. But he probably missed he probably missed like ten of them. It was multiple players like, that took 10 threes. He probably missed like nine. He probably missed like nine three pointers. Pat Connaughton took 10 threes. Crowder yeah. six. Beasley wow. 10. Middleton eight. Who, who, who do y'all think y'all are? Yeah, they didn't want to take no twos. Now they could have, I mean, no, we lost by five, four points. Just imagine if some of those was two point makes. Or, or taking it to the basket and getting a foul. Get a five free throws. Just imagine. Just imagine if you actually play smart basketball. That's what I'm saying. That's why they be saying, oh, look how athletic the NBA is right now. These 90s teams wouldn't make it. Yeah, okay, they're athletic, but they're stupid. The 90s teams were fundamentally sound. That's why they were Mm -hmm. so good. Let me tell y'all something about basketball. It's about the fundamentals. Why do I say that? You have a team like the San Antonio Spurs that had a dynasty with all types of athletes in the league. They didn't have no high flyers. They weren't throwing no lobs or nothing like that. But what they were doing was executing. Flawless execution. Flawless execution. That's what was going on. That's why they were able to beat more talented teams like Kobe and Shaq and teams like that because they were fundamentally sound and paid attention to detail. Now, our team has a lot of talent, but no attention to detail, no, no fundamental. Detail. That's why we're so inconsistent. You know, and I think that's what you hit the hit on there. The reason why the Bucs are going to struggle, if they do struggle in the playoff, attention to detail. It's going to be all about them attending to you because they don't consistently attend to the details of the game. Like, look, when they lost to the Lakers, they just blown them out by 19. That's they, just they, they, were, they could they beat just, the team. They lost. Then they focus. just stop. Then they just stop playing. Stop playing defense. Stop rebounding. It's like who? What? 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 what y'all thought the game was over? They what just do, gonna Kings? But the but but there's no attention to detail. Most teams don't do that that we've seen in the past. Like I could imagine the Chicago Bulls of the past saying, "You know what? We up nineteen. We gonna let them come back. We ain't gonna play no more defense." 
at the very least, to win the game, they was gonna play defense. Fine. They were they wouldn't have played. They'd have let off on the offense a little bit, but they'd have played the defense to win the game. The Bucks didn't right. play nothing. They stopped the whole game and said, "We gonna." They might as well sit on the bench and let them just play by themselves because that's how they play. No, and I they, agree they with you. I agree with you. And they did that. They did that so many games this year. It's crazy. Like y'all up, y'all beating these teams. Yeah, it's the them. mental focus, but that's the culture too, though. That's that that we got to blame that on culture too for not having a team discipline. That's a little yeah, bit of culture. Yeah, I mean, but then we got two of the, two of the worst coaches we should could have had because they don't it for both coaches. Some of that's the players. No, I agree. It's, it, 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 it's a little both. Hey, Daniel, get your last hey, word in, sir, so I can uh, tap in Gibson here in a minute. All right, all right. So real quick, um, shout to the chat and um, yeah, it's gonna get better, hopefully. But you got right. It just. Mm. It's frustrating because you know they're better than this. Whole, it, 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 it better than this. So just shout to the chat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it's a win tomorrow. But be right, Prime. They just they just want to get to the playoffs right now. They just go get to the playoffs, get this over with because they just. They I just want to get to the playoffs. Yeah, so same. I can watch some real basketball. I want to watch some yeah. real basketball. Exactly. I want to watch a, a team schools, that's I'm really trying to play. My money too. I want to watch a team that's really trying to win. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Even if they win, they ain't trying to win. This game, they, just, they won this game. <laughs> they ain't trying to win. It's crazy. Like, they, I want to watch a team that really want to win. Uh, all right, Dave, appreciate you, bro. Let me I want to see what in. they look like. Let me tap in uh, Gibson. All right, Gibson, I'm about to tap you in. Hold on. I know Gibson tight. <laughs> <laughs> What's Everybody's up with y'all? And, and, and enter the screen wild like this. What's up with y'all, bro? What's up, bro? You don't like them hoodies. <laughs> Go ahead, Gibson. Go ahead. Salute. Salute. Come on. Salute. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's start it right. Come on. Let's start it right, sir. Come on, Gibson. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love to Thank Bucks you. Nation. Peace and love. Peace and love. Because, boy, Amber, I don't. It was just. I. Let me don't. Let me don't go off in the chat. Let me cool myself down. Let me cool down. Because. I really Shout out to the Bahamas. Ex- I just ready to explore right now. First of all, <laughs> let's shout out to Amber and Crew, Pronte, WFSO. Glad to see you. Miss you. Well, well, Thank God you ain't got on that silly hat tonight. Thank God you ain't got on that silly hat tonight. <laughs> They'll be on tomorrow if they lose. <laughs> you ain't wearing it tomorrow. Don't trip. You wearing another hoodie Ooh. or a do-rag. Don't even trip. Hoodie or do-rag so, tomorrow, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so front day, shout out to front day, front day, and Amber and WFSO. I got a few things I would like to yeah. touch on, but let me address a comment that I made in the chat, and, I, and Eliza take it in the wrong way. Now, Eliza, what I said in the chat about Giannis, I said what I mean. Giannis need to wake on his free throws and his mid range game. He need to wake on that as a superstar. You need to wake on that because I watched the game when they pass him the ball. Giannis can't even barely handle the ball. He fumbled the ball and the team take it. No, I'm not. He's going to tote some of this blame too. I don't care yet, 35 points, but as a basketball player, all from the joke aside, Jordan was great at free throws. Giannis need to wake on his game more. He need to wake on his game more. You know why they ain't voting for him for MVP? Because why? They say you only get one move. Just that spin move. He ain't got no other move. And I say, you know what? I say, let me watch him to see. And when I watch and see, I say, now I see why the media don't want to give him that MVP. Because Embiid will come back and Embiid will making the free throws. Come on, man. You know, this, this is not your game to be jacking up no trees. I call it slash power or uh, slash point guard power forward. You don't need to be jacking up no trees. Shaq called you. And Damon Lillero in the All-Star game. Take it to the rock. Don't shoot no trees. That is not your game. Practice your free throws. You need to put putting up 3,000 free throws a day. There's no time to be going to Greece this way. No, 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 no. You need to go in the lab and work on your game to get better. If you don't do that, the media will always find a narrative against you to discredit your greatness. I speak in facts. I'm not hating on you, honest. Let me get it right so nobody in the chat say, oh, I come on running. No, 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 no. We are addressing the problem before it get exposed. To everybody can say, you honestly no superstar. You only get one more. You need to wake on number one. Your free throws. Mid-range game. 
mid-range game, you need to work on that. And number two, please fire that shooting coach you get. Get rid of him. Get rid of him quick. Fire the shooting coach. Oh, for sure. Get rid of him. My second point is, Amber, John Horse needs to be fired today, not tomorrow. Horse need to be hold on one second. Hey, one second. Eliza put in the super chat. Hold on one second. Yeah, Eliza did like yeah. yeah you know, I know. Get him, Eliza. Get him, Eliza. Oh, yeah. get him fire fire boy. Hey, hold on, Eliza. Eliza, appreciate the one ninety nine super chat. Gibson, come on. He can't fix it. He does work. Okay, that that's valid. We know he tries. Maybe that he just can't get that. Maybe he can't get All that. Right. All right, I give you that. Now, secondly. Select John Horst, was good, brother. John Horst, as a GM, we understand you're trying your best to put a championship team together. Yes, we understand that. But some of these signing, what he's doing, I don't agree on some of these signing we're doing. Because when I look at other teams around the league, how they be well put around with players around, you need to put players what fit Giannis' play style and his uh playing style and vocabulary number one you can't have a, a, a 36 year old big man who is seven foot the tallest on the team grabbing one rebound unacceptable that is totally unacceptable we pay lopez all that money and this is the production we are getting from him i don't appreciate that at all i don't appreciate that all amber and number two this team need to take off this losing mentality we have and put on the Jordan winning mentality. Giannis mm. need to, uh, uh, they need to take this losing mentality, get that losing spirit out, and put, say, everybody, he need to call a meeting with everybody, the whole team, the coaches, everybody, say, listen here, I can tell you all one thing. If you're on here to win, let's act like we want to win. If you're on here to lose, mind the door is open for you all to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm Remember, all fun and jokes inside. Why you think in the NBA when Jordan used to play in the 90s, Jordan was feared? Because why? He criticized his teammates to be better. And what they do? They better. Our team, we have lazy players on the team. Cause they ain't running off no, no rebound. They ain't boxing out. They just letting the team go off on them. I look at that game against the Washington Wizards. I was not pleased with that game at all. Our guys did nothing. I say, where is the hell is the bench? Where is the bench? Nothing from the bench. Two games, nothing from the bench. We already got a bench. Yeah, that, we ain't got nothing. Damn, ain't got that's none. a little bit true. Our bench is very inconsistent. Streaky would be a compliment. And and, and Doc got to do a better job. Please, for the love of the game of basketball, give the young guys a chance, you stubborn coach. Give them a chance. If we Good had point, the young Carl. guys in we could get some consistency and we had a chance to win that game and we let it slip. We get it down to two and we let them come right there. We brick, brick, brick after brick, brick after brick, 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 brick. Oh, like a rap song. Right. Portis. Oh, man. Portis, Portis, Portis. Pass the ball. Stop jocking it. Oh, man. You make me so mad. Front in WFS right now. I just say like, wow, but this year, Amber, like what you say, what your guys say, we need a soft rebuild. Half of these old players have to go. Majority of them. Yeah, we, we got the... we got a quite a few players that should be in the big three. We got quite a few players that should be in the big three. I'm going to break my heart. To see. <laughs> Giannis, is, Giannis bring his winning mentality every night, but the guys Facts. mean step up to help him. And that can get him frustrated. And we, if Giannis go, we are suck. We suck. We suck. Right. If Giannis leave, this team ain't gonna never make it to the playoff no more. Because Giannis is the only hope we have. And the GM have to take that in consideration when you're doing these signing. Go after guys. What can help Giannis? What can come out and go to war with him? Not what could be. Afraid hey, to hide in hey, the get the me. likes of hey Gibson is spitting. You see, we quiet right now. Get the likes of Bucks Nation. Hey, hey Gibson is in his bag. Like it or uh, like it or uh, or hate it. He's hey he spitting some fire. Go ahead, Gibson. All the way from the Bahamas. Go ahead, Gibson. Hey, 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 in order for this team to hang this third banner, we have to come together as a collective unit to realize that hey, 
the playoffs is coming up. We have to look at the disappointment last year. We cannot afford that. It was an embarrassing loss. We need to learn from that. Tighten up our schools. Everybody needs yeah. to play, and Doc needs to give the young guys some chance to help the team. We're we we not playing the young guys. We might have, we might have the, yeah, the, the solution right. ready. <laughs> How are y'all not hitting the like button? Are you not entertained? Do you not enjoy the content? Hit the like button. This man Gibson is, is moonwalking right now. I'm a and WFSO. We might have the solution right there on the bench, and we never couldn't find the formula. And the formula sitting right there in the front of us. We're refusing to go to the formula and use it. We have it on the bench. I see it. Uh, Tingham have potential in them. Chris Levingston have retention. Andre Jackson have retention. Marjan have retention. Show them in the game. Show them in the, in the water and let them swim with the Sharks and see what we can get out of them. No. He want to bring an old guy. And that's a good point. You got to let them swim with the Sharks and see if they can survive. No, that's a good point, Gibson. Hey, Gibson in his bag. Hey, when y'all be putting on these hoodies, y'all be in a different type of bag. They be, hey, hey, Bronte, when they come in with the hoodie, bro, they be in a different type of bag. <laughs> I didn't want I want the <laughs> box to get that to me. Amber, I want the box. I want I want the Milwaukee box to get that to him. Right. When in mentality, I want the box to get that to him. Uh, when when that 2021 mentality back. I want them get that winning mentality back what they had in 2020. They need to get that back. We need to get that back. In all of the, the the shut up that 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 Boston hater would keep on coming in the chat. Hoistry, we gotta go there. <laughs> And, and ship Boston out so we could take him out. Good then night, we could turn the table on him and make and make him look like the fool. Say so you coming in this chat and you're telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. We're gonna have to humble ourselves. We gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put tell him man, call in the link so me and him could we could discuss. I don't want him to be sending no little slick job. Tell him calling. <laughs> <laughs> what is right going now? on today? Hey, y'all know who started know this with the hoodie. Zone. Hey, it was all Brandon. Brandon started. He was the original. <laughs> he was the forefather talking crazy with a hoodie oh, on. Man. Shout out to Brandon <laughs> King Carter. He was the OG <laughs> coming out the hoodie just talking greasy. So, <laughs> so, so, so I, I love this team. I love this team. I love this, this Milwaukee team. That's my team. Win or lose, I ride with him. Win or lose, so we gotta try do better, and we need Doc Rivers to coach the team better. Let guys play with need minutes. Beasley don't need all those minutes. Connor don't need. We could share and give it to the young guys and see what we got. Cause Miami doing it. They, yeah. they using the young guys. Why we can't use our young guys? That's all I saying. And thank you for allowing me to drop my little fox and I turn it over. Absolutely, to you now. salute, salute. <laughs> Let me, okay, you hold it. Let me, hey, round of applause for this man. Gibson just spit. Hey, you know what's crazy? Gibson is seeing everything that's wrong all the way from the Bahamas. Doc Rivers is right there and don't see it. That's extremely concerning. That's extremely yeah. concerning for real. I'm going to let uh, Prate, you get your last words, then you WFSO, then I'm going to get in the chat before we get up out of here. Gibson, I gotta go Gibson. take this dog out before Gibson. some crazy happens. Gibson, my brother, my Same brother, here. you was on it. You was on it, man. <laughs> I agree with you on 90 90 percent of that. I just don't think Giannis gonna, <laughs> right. I don't think Giannis is gonna be a good free throw shooter. That's the only I, I thing I agree with. Yeah, that I don't agree with. Like, I got, you can't do I got, it, I, think I, got Shaq, the... I got Shaq vibes with Giannis on the free throw line. It's just one of those things. Some players you watch NBA long enough, some players just don't get it together on the free throw line. No matter what, no matter what yeah. they do, they also are gonna be poor street free those shooters. So we just gonna have to live with that. Um, but man, the Bucks, man, A. M. Gibson, there you go. We've been waiting. We've been saying wait to the wait to the twenty game mark. <laughs> Wait till the 40k. Now we saying wait till the playoffs. Now we saying wait till the playoffs. Boy, boy, we we finally here. <laughs> we better hope we see the team we supposed to see. Facts. Because we are gonna be sitting at home. We are gonna be going fishing early, bro. I think oh, man. we, we gotta, gotta be better. Gotta play better. Because if we know that this is if they keep playing like this, that ain't championship basketball. Facts. That's that ain't, that ain't championship basketball. We know that for a fact. That ain't championship basketball. And the only person that want to win on the team, and he's he slid, he slid a little bit this year. 
Mm-hmm. Usually you want he goes harder, but it's Giannis. But I don't want to see in the playoffs nobody caring. Oh, this is just game two. We'll get him in game three. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to no, hear no, no, none no. of that. I don't no, want. No, I don't want to no, hear yeah, none of that. Oh, we got five out. more games left because they've been doing that all year, and we've been making excuses for that mentality all year. Mm-hmm. We want some sweeps. We Thank want, you. We want, y'all yep. to y'all we want examples being made. We want. We want y'all to search our will on, on the team. <laughs> I want y'all, we want y'all to search our will. We don't want this. Oh, man, That's it right there. That's game. it right there. Impose your will. There Impose it is right there. Impose your will yeah. on, on the basketball, on the league. It's time. It's time. I'm right here playoffs. It's time. Y'all been waiting all season. Y'all been giving yourself excuses. Y'all been taking weeks off at a time. Some party didn't play a half a season, but we ain't going to say nothing because that's what they used to. You don't never play a whole season. So a half a season is good for him. But now that he's here, now that Dane been dealing with it a whole year, got a whole week off, maybe two, before playoffs, we ain't got no excuses. Thank no more excuses. We, we done we with no more excuses, excuses when the playoffs. We start. done with that. Yep, we don't want to hear nothing from Brook Lopez. If he ain't, if he don't get that hand up to get a rebound or a contested shot, <laughs> sit him on the bench. Sit him on the bench. If be if if if, if Bobby Porter's getting technical fouls for no reason <laughs> at all, sit him on the bench. Sit him on a bench. If we can't, we can't. If, if we got, we got to have all our role players hustling. There is no taking plays off no more. Fact. You know, there's there no is, more taking there off. Is, there's, there's no, no more, more taking passes plays when off. the playoffs start. Let's just say that there's collectively. No, we're no not more giving those no passes. When the playoffs we start. Gave, as a fan, as Bucks fans, we gave y'all pass all year. Yep. All year for playing lazy basketball, lazy, disrespectful basketball. Because that's what y'all been playing. Y'all are super talented team that's disrespecting the game right now. And if y'all carry that in the playoffs, y'all gonna deserve to all of the ridicule y'all get, all the memes they gonna make about you, y'all gonna deserve it. Because that's how y'all play, that's how y'all disrespected nice. the game. Now, y'all can turn it around. We seen teams play poor in the regular season and pick up it, pick it up and Miami. win the whole thing. Miami. Miami, for example, they right. did this last year. They did this just last year. The same even the Lakers, did. even the Lakers. I the hate you, LeBron, Lakers. but even the Lakers. The Lakers, we saw Golden State did actually maybe the last. Oh yeah, Golden State too. No, you're right. No, no, that's fair. No, no, good point. Golden State did it. So we've seen these teams struggle in the regular season. Couldn't Golden State that year couldn't win it on the road either. And then all of a sudden they, they all of a sudden they went on the road. Started winning a little couple games on the road at the end of the year, and then boom. They they won the whole thing. Yeah, that's so, true. Good point. See, look at the positive spin, y'all. We gonna always try to end on a positive note. Shout out to Prime so, Day. So let's see if the Bucks can, you know, shock the league because it, it, it the Bucks then put themselves in a position where they over underdogs at the same time. <laughs> People expect a lot of them, but now they don't right. expect none of them. But they still expect all of them. It right. don't they <laughs> over underdog. It's, they they defuse the whole league. They over underdogs. If they say they won, they was like they supposed to be there, but then they, they just didn't have it together. Whatever. Right, exactly. But they could be be by anything. Time for the Bucks to step up. Too much talent to be wasted. Too I agree. much time to be wasted. Do not put Gallo in the game. I'll Ever. come and kick him in the knee so he can sit on the bench for the rest of the season. He needs to sit for the rest of his life. He can go back and <laughs> do broadcasting. He can do whatever he needs to do, but he'll need to be in no more games for the rest of his life. It's crazy that we gotta play him. Hey, Gallo, like trying to spend time well, with I'm the family, go ahead, bro. Yeah, I'm going to go spend time with your family, bro. Yeah, y'all going to do some backpacking in Europe. Yeah, It's kind yeah. of fun. Go do some backpacking in Europe. I'm going to turn it over to the WFSO. I'm done, man. But uh, go get, ahead, WFSO. Yeah, Salute to Pronte <laughs> Gibson. Go ahead, WFSO. Okay, we got like about, what, six games left? Yeah. Believe so? At least win majority of those games, at least. That's what I'm hoping. Because, like, the last game, the last home game of the season, I will be there and make sure, you know, they win that game, too, against Orlando. Okay. I might run into you. I might be um, at that one, too. I'll run into you. Oh, okay. But um, hopefully they win the majority of the games and um, see how they do in the playoffs. Hopefully, you know, they adjust compared to what they did last year. So hopefully they will adjust more. Um, now, I think next season, wherever we win the championship this season or not, I think next season will be much better. I, much I agree. Better. No, I agree because we're going to retool. We're going to retool. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Oh, yeah. No, 
Yep. Appreciate Rip. you, WFSO Gibson Pronte, WFSO Gibson. Go ahead, bro. Uh, my my last take is John Ross have to wake up to realize that this is his last chance. So he cannot mess up. And and, and we have, do we have any draft picks left to draft anybody Don't even this talk year? about draft picks. That's all mm-hmm. dead. Uh, That's all dead. We might keep our first round pick if the Pelicans don't want it, but we still got a second round pick. From Portland, and that ain't gonna help. Second round ain't about that. That's you just use for trade bait. So we would whatever picks we have, we gonna use them in the off season to move brick. I said brick, Brook, <laughs> and some other right, and some hey, other uh, correct players on the it. team. Brick Lopez, yeah. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So we gonna stay positive, Gibson. Come on, give us the peace and love, bro. Peace and love, peace and love to Bucks Nation. Let's try turn the ship around and try get it together. And let's try make up for the losses that we we have. And let's turn this thing around and show everybody at who we really are. There we peace go. Peace and love. All right, appreciate Salute. y'all, man. All right, y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Bruno All right, gentlemen. Defeated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that hey, no strays. E T has some funny uh, has some funny comments today. I got to give him that. He has some funny comments. So let me get these last couple comments here. I'm going to get up out of here so I can go outside in this rain, take this little dog out. Gents off, what's good? The facts that Amber let Gibson talk BS on Giannis tells you everything. It wasn't no BS. I let everybody say what they want to say, bro. Gents off, you want to come in and say what you want to say? I'm going to let you say it. This is an open forum, sir. This is friends and family. You going to let your friends and family say their piece, right? Never forget that. I'm not going to stop somebody because if I don't agree with it or you don't agree with it, if they want to speak their voice, this is what this platform is for, for Bucks fans to be able to speak their truth, to give their opinions. That's what this is all about. It's not for me to be biased because I like this player or I don't like this player to stop someone from saying something. No, this is free speech. Just saw that's how that man felt. You know what I'm saying? You feel differently. Feel free to hop on and say what you want to say, bro. This is friends and family network, sir. Get the get the likes up, Bucks Nation. Oliver's story was good. If I was a coach, Dame would be on the bench for the rest of the season. Okay. I understand. <laughs> Jen Saw said Gibson is high on weed and Jen. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, Robert Brooks said, I think they care, but their abilities don't align. Hey, I'm going to stay on for a second. Hey, Robert Brooks, elaborate on that. What do you mean by that? Their ability- Are you saying because they old and slow? I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, mis- misquoting you. Uh, Jazza Upper, I hope I'm saying that right. You can have a positive spin, but uh, Doc still is the coach. Why do you think Gallo was on the floor? <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to be positive, Jazz. Come on. Come on. I What you're saying is not false. I'm just saying, come on, man. Come on. If you haven't already, please hit the like button before we get up out of here. And as you know, we do this after every uh, Bucks game. I should be going to the game tomorrow if my tickets don't sell. And then we'll be going live uh, maybe 9.30-ish, somewhere like that. But I'll let y'all know when I uh, uh, post the, the next live for tomorrow. I appreciate everybody tapping in, all the great commentary, all the, the guests that popped in on the live. This is your number one resource for Bucks news and the number one Bucks podcast, coupled with the number one Bucks chat on YouTube, hands down. Hands down. If you know any Bucks fans, please share the content. We grinding, y'all. The community is growing. Subs are going up. Everything is cooking, y'all. So let's keep the grinding. I appreciate y'all tapping in. And once again, this is Bucks Nation. This is the home for Bucks Nation, a.k.a. friends and family. If you want to be a part of this, please subscribe, comment, share. As you can see, we got a good group of people that's in here. We're always communicating throughout the week. Uh, If you haven't, before join the Facebook group, Amherst Logic. We're always chopping it up in there. People always contacting me on Instagram. Hey, when I say friends and family, I mean it. I chop it up with y'all all week because that's how I feel and we Bucks Nation. So that's what we do here. So appreciate y'all tapping in. I'm Amherst. This is Amherst Logic. 
Milwaukee Bucks trade rumors and news live edition where we just got done discussing the atrocity between the Milwaukee Bucks and the uh, Washington Wizards where the Bucks lose 117-113 and Giannis went for 35 points, 15 rebounds, 10 assists, triple double and a loss to the Wizards. That is disgraceful. We'll bounce back, y'all, and I guarantee you see a better team in the playoffs. I'm Amr. This is Amr's Logic. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the Facebook channel. All right, y'all. Facebook group, I said channel. All right, y'all. Go. See y'all tomorrow.